Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for this video. This is the Sensi Harvest Collection 2023. I've been away on vacation, so I'm happy to be back here. I've got some videos to catch up on this week, that is for sure. But um, September 1st, the Fall Winter Catalog launches as well as the uh, Harvest Collection. This is always a favorite of mine, as it is many, many people. So I thought today's video, we could just do a quick flip through of the Harvest Collection. And then also, as I mentioned, I did get the five bar bundle for the Harvest Collection. It is fantastic absolutely has blown my socks off. So let's get into the catalog. Just a quick flip through, just in case you have not seen it, um, I'll just uh, whip you through it. So here is the front cover. Now what I always love about the Harvest Collection is that it definitely leans into October and the Halloween stuff. So let's dive in. I did do a little house decorating for you guys today. I made a witch hat recently. Um, I have my Sleepy Hollow uh, shirt on, so I'm in the mood. <laughs> okay, the first page here is the five bars that are offered in this collection with the scent notes. It is a beautiful looking collection and very cohesive. We're gonna get into that in a few minutes. The next page shows the warmers that will be available in the Harvest Collection. Um, I'm curious in the comments section, what do you have your eye on here in the Harvest Collection? Um, so before you leave and shut this down, just hit up that comments and let me know what you're shopping for on September 1st. <laughs> All right, so we do have a uh, nice mini here. This is called uh, Luminous Leaves. The minis are $25. This is the Fairy Tale Pumpkin Warmer. I have this and I absolutely love it. Very fun to use colored bulbs in this um, to sort of deepen the uh, fairy lights that shine through that mercury right there looking glass. Um, that is $50. Um, down here we have new this year the mini fairy tale pumpkin. I definitely plan on picking up this one. And then we have this white pumpkin warmer right here, very farmhouse, and this is called Harvest Bounty. That is $50. Over on the next page here, we have a couple of skulls in a mini and a full size. I always love the white, plain warmers. They go with every aesthetic. They're fun for colored bulbs. I think these would just be especially fun if you wanna drop a purple one in there, orange, green, what have you. But as is, a uh, white bisque is just stunning. Um, the name of that is Caler, oh, excuse me, Calavereta. And the full size is $50, the mini 25. And then you guys, we have the retro truck. That is so exciting. So if you're not familiar with this, um, the it's an element warmer. So there's just a hot plate underneath uh, this pumpkin bunch right here. So you take the pumpkin bunch off there's a hot plate and you put your wax on in a dish on there and then uh, you put your topper back on there and uh, there's little exhalation ports for that scent to diffuse uh, out of that hot plate. But that is amazing. The price of the truck is $60 and it's called the pumpkin delivery lid is 25. Now in the past, Sensi comes out with different toppers. Um, there is a sort of Christmas themed one that I'm aware of. If there's other ones, let me know. Uh, but if you pick up that truck, uh, it's always fun to look for the other toppers that might come out in the future. 
new this year is this nice cushy nine inch white pumpkin and it has a scent pack uh, that you can put in there to make it smell uh, oh so good cost of that is 55 next page we have the mickey mouse pumpkin warmer uh, that is $75 and it's called the Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern. Also is the Frightfully Delightful Wax Bar. That's a Disney licensed bar, so those are always 50 cent cents more. Um, this is a pumpkin peach fragrance. Golden pumpkin illuminated with bright harvest peach and delightful touches of whipped vanilla and brown sugar. The next page we have this little um, Scentsy mini buddy here. Really cute hanging upside down bat. Uh, this is called Batista the Bat and it is a Scentsy buddy clip. And it comes in the scent pack Give Me Candy give me candy rather for some reason i'm just imagining someone walking to school or walking down the sidewalk and this is hanging on their uh, backpack i think that'd be really really cute okay my heart exploded when i saw this we have finally it has been a minute a three pack harvest collection um diffuser oils. I'm so jacked. I'm right away going to get two of these. The scents for this three pack sound utterly frightful and amazing. Um, so the three pack of oils is $18. It comes in a nice, typically it's, it's a little tin. It looks like this year it might be more of um, what looks like almost like a paperback book of some kind. Um, the, the fragrances are called Snake Oil and Cedar Wood. And that is Simmering Pumpkin with a bite of nutmeg stirred with a staff of cedar wood. So pumpkin puree, nutmeg, and cedar wood. The next oil is called Wolf's Bane and apple brandy and this is described as a goblet of apple brandy enchanted with bright ginger root and a dash of sparkling orange so here again we have apple brandy ginger and sparkling orange and the last oil is called beetles and blood orange this is fresh cut palmarosa cast into a cauldron of mulled cranberry and orange spice. I'm not sure what Palma Rosa is. I'm going to have to look that up, but obviously it's a tree. It's a fresh cut Palma Rosa. So we have a woody element, cranberry and orange spice, actually mulled cranberry and orange spice. I'm howling, you guys. I'm so excited for that. Um, we have a couple of really great Halloween warmers here. This one here with the bats. And I don't know if you can tell, but some of those bats actually have like a 3D texture to them. So they're not just printed on the warmer, but actually give a little bit of a textured 3D element. And then this guy right here, oh my goodness. He's hanging out. I can um, just imagine like if you used a red wax that that could look like wine or blood. Um, so the bat warmer is $50 and it's called Let's Get Batty. And the little skeleton dude is called Chilling Brew. There's one more look at those guys. So fun. All right, um, this is a tabletop diffuser to be used with the scent pods. Super cute in a, a little jack-o'-lantern. And that is called Happy Jack Tabletop Fan Diffuser. That is $30. The scent pods 
are available in Cashmere Leaves, Fall Into Love, and Forever Fall. And these are $10 a piece. You get two pods in each pack. Um, on the next page here, we have a couple of terrific Halloween warmers. Right up here, this little black cat is called Spooky Stare. And down here at the bottom, this is called Witch -O Lantern, and she's on my list. I definitely want to scoop this up. This is a glass warmer, and it has just a little bit of an um, iridescent quality to it. So it looks lovely in the daylight uh, from what I've seen on sneak peeks. And I think um, it's going to be special lit up as well. I've really been developing a nice pumpkin collection and I'm just going to keep them all together. I think that they uh, complement each other very nice. Okay, uh, right here towards the back page here is uh, the cleaning section. So um, available here in the laundry is the scent Fall Into Love. Um, this is a laundry bundle for $40. You get two washer whiffs and the laundry liquid. Down here, um, this is in the uh, Scentsy Fresh for $12. And that is what you would spray down on fabrics and different things, rugs, different things to freshen up the house or car. Uh, over here we have available in Autumn Road Trip. Oh, such a great scent. Oh, counter clean and dish soap. So if you've been missing dish soap, it's coming in um, Autumn Road Trip. Does life get any better? And then lastly, there are three hand soaps in this collection available. These are each, uh, excuse me, it's a three pack for $27, available in Autumn Road Trip, Fall Into Love, and Velvet Moon. On the last page, is new and exciting. These are the fragrance flowers. These are the um, reed diffusers uh, with the oil. But oh, wow, we're getting into some beautiful different fall flowers here. And uh, with the colored oil, it then colors the, um, the reed, which gets up onto the flower. So beautiful. Um, these are each $16 and they are available in Forever Fall, Cashmere Leaves, and Fall Into Love. So that is the book. I'm ready to get into the wax with you guys. As I mentioned, I love this collection. I'm definitely going back for more. Uh, super happy with it. I've warmed through three of these, so I definitely have a warming opinion I can share with you. Uh, so let's get into it. First is, let me get my scent notes handy. First is Dutch apple bread. And this is fresh sliced apple, warm cinnamon, rolled oats, and brown sugar. They missed the note altogether on the bread, you guys, so don't get too excited about that bread note. Um, however, this is a really beautiful apple spice fragrance. Definitely smells to me like a baked, um, poached, warmed apple, cooked apple with a little bit of uh, warming spices. It's, um, as a performer, this really surprised me. I put this in my open concept. I used four cubes in my open concept and I could definitely smell this. I'm going to call this a light medium. So not quite a medium, um, but on the lighter side of medium, I could definitely smell it. And it lasted from sun up till about 10 o'clock at night when I shut the warmers off and there was still a lot of fragrance to go. So very long lasting, uh, good scent. Uh, if you're looking for the bread note or any bakery, it's not there, but overall it is a good scent. Um, 
there are a lot of apple crisp things that I can get uh, in the other land. Uh, I'm looking for the crispy note or the bread note, um, but overall, I really did enjoy this bar. The next one here I have is cashmere leaves. And this is apple, falling leaves, and cashmere spice. So I tried one cube in my bathroom. And oh, you guys, this is a very nice, once again, cooked, baked apple. Again, with some warming spices, nothing's really too robust here or um, what I would call spicy. I would just call it like, like those warming spices, a uh, uh, subdued cinnamon. It says cashmere spice. So that's where that cashmere might be meeting the spice and just buffering it down and smoothing it out. But definitely that cooked baked apple is very out front and I get the uh, brown leaves. But the apple is by far out front. I would say um, 70, 80% apple there and then you've got the uh, leaves and then you got a pinch of that warming spice. Very nice, a little light. It's in my bathroom, it's been there two hours. Um, on the lighter side, so for me, I'm going to stick to smaller spaces for this one. Next, I have Fall Into Love, and the scent notes are Fresh Orange Peel, Cool Eucalyptus, and Sweet Balsam. I think this is great for fall, you guys. Sensi did a nice job on this one. Um, it definitely does not give me holiday Christmas time vibes at all. This is a little bit more daytime tree scent. I was a bit scared of the eucalyptus because I just didn't want that to, to cool down and ice out too much. And, um, and it's not. The eucalyptus is... Um, it's a player, but it's not for string. So I get definitely the tree. It's a subdued tree. And I can get the orange, which is giving just a little bit of brightness here. There's definitely like a creaminess that puts this all together. I don't know if that's that eucalyptus that is uh, binding this together but nothing about this appears astringent or um, out front of any of the other um, scents. It's very well blended. And again, um, like I said, it, it doesn't give me holiday. It doesn't give me Christmas. Um, if anything, this gives me like a daytime hike in the woods, which is one of my favorite things to do in the fall here in Michigan. So um, I like that. That is a really different play on a, a tree scent. All right, then we have Forever Fall. This is baked pumpkin, cinnamon stick, and brown sugar. This is in my warmers right now. I have four cubes going in my open concept. It is blazing. It is a boomer performer. I couldn't be more happy. Oh my goodness, this is club worthy for me. In fact, um, pumpkin roll always holds that spot. I love pumpkin roll, but it is coming out in a brick this year. And as we know, it seems that when Sensi puts a scent in the brick availability, it's the kiss of death, right? So I'm willing to not club pumpkin roll next go around because this one won the spot. Uh, so I'll be getting a brick of pumpkin roll whenever that comes out this fall. And Forever Fall is gonna get a club spot. This is a boomer. So it's a terrific pumpkin scent because if you had pumpkin puree and you put the brown sugar in there and you're mixing up the things for a pumpkin pie, pumpkin 
a pumpkin dessert of whatever kind, okay? You, you're just getting started with it, okay? And you go to taste it and there's not quite enough brown sugar there. That's what this is. This is just like pumpkin pie that if you were a sweet tooth person, you would have wanted that all jacked up with brown sugar and all kinds of stuff that way. Um, but I'm not that way and I love this. It's not too sugared out. The pumpkin is the winner. The pumpkin and the brown sugar come together and give almost a roasty toastiness to it. You know, sometimes if you cook squash, it, it develops like a nutty note. It, that's how this is coming together a little bit for me. It's like a roasty, toasty pumpkin puree with some brown sugar, but it's not over the top. It's amazing. As far as the cinnamon stick, maybe there's some spice in there. I can't really, I can't really bring it to mind. It's, it's the pumpkin and the brown sugar, the pumpkin being way out front. Perfect. All right, last one is white pumpkin and driftwood. And here we have white pumpkin, driftwood, white cardamom, and warm solar amber. So this is like that wild card one in the mix. You don't know what to think of it until you yourself can put your nose on the situation. And I have. And I'm so happy to say what I smell here is what I smell in the warmers and then it even got better in the warmers. I like this one. I'm not sure if it'll be a club bar for me, but I definitely anticipate picking up like three more of these. Uh, what happens on this one here is, I know some people uh, are saying masculine leaning or you know that way. Actually, I'm getting a I'm getting a white pumpkin. You know, a white pumpkin in fragrance is a typically like nutmeg and a very creamy pumpkin. Yes, I am getting almost like a bakery white pumpkin. There's there's definitely a bakery note in this to my nose. And then it finishes off with just a little bit of like a white driftwood amber. It is so eloquent. It's seasonal, it's different, it's developed. It is, it is upscale. I like this. This one is the standout for me. Um, so in order of my favorites, so obviously it's a tough call between first and second place here. Um, I'm gonna go white pumpkin and driftwood for number one spot. That blew my little witch socks right off. And then um, pu this pumpkin one here, forever fall. In the number three spot, I'm gonna go Dutch apple bread. I like it. Don't think it'll be a repurchase, but I uh, gave it the number three spot based on uh, that I like the scent and that I could definitely smell it in my open concept. Number four spot is cashmere leaves. If this one was a better performer, this would have took number three. Um, but like I said, it's just awfully light in my bathroom. We'll see how it goes. I've only got it on for two hours, so maybe that just takes a while to kick in. Uh, but that is very nice. And lastly, I have Fall Into Love, which is also a very nice bar. Um, I love the green scents and the trees and everything. Um, yeah, I might pick up one more. We'll see. Uh, again, this puts me in the mode of fall day hike out in Michigan. So uh, that takes a special sp spot in my heart. 
All right, guys, that's what I got. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to try to break out some more videos this week and get caught up. Let me know in the comments section what is on your wish list. Let me know what you're going after. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.